Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to ARK. We've got a little bit of a meeting of the minds here with the T-Rexes. This is the female that we hatched in the last episode. Oh, she's taking a dump right on camera, but she's all grown up. There was a lot of great comments in the last episode as to what to name her, but I decided to name her Ada as a continued homage to the Neebs Gaming family. Ada is their editor, if you don't know. And now we got six Rexes, which I believe is enough to fight the brood mother. but I may mate them a couple of more times before we do something crazy and go fight a boss. But speaking of doing something crazy, let's go do something crazy right now. We're gonna go try and tame a Giga, which is the largest and by far the most dangerous carnivore on the island. And uh, hopefully we can do this successfully. I'm heading towards the snow mountain here. You can sometimes find them near the volcano, from what I understand, but I've flown around the volcano many times before and I've never seen one over there. Uh, there's also a couple of more mountains to the east of the volcano, but uh, from what I've seen, they are most common in the snow mountains. So we're going to start with this snow mountain here. If we don't have any luck, then there's another one to the east, and if we don't have any luck there, then we'll continue to the east to those other mountain ranges and see if we can find one. I've got a trap, I've got a cryopod, I've got a whole bunch of trank arrows and trank darts. Hopefully I'm prepared enough. This is by far the most dangerous thing I've attempted in this series so far. Well, nothing yet. Alright, well, I've flown around this mountain and I did not see one. So let's just continue on to the second snow mountain, which is straight ahead. And if we don't have any luck there, we can continue on to the other two mountain ranges that you can see in the background to the right. I spotted an explorer note down here. We might as well go grab it. Got some shit going on down here. We might as well go get involved because I didn't get any levels from that explorer note, but we do have the XP buff, so might as well make the most of it. Damn, that mammoth in the background. It went flying, so did that one, but we did not get credited for either one of those kills. Come on, wolves. Trying to get some levels here. Back up, bitch. It's my mountain. Yeah, go ahead and howl for your friends. Kill them too. There's the level I was looking for. I don't know where his friends went. Let's put that level in to help. Oh, here comes one, of course. All right, stop celebrating, Philly. There we go. And the rest of the pack must have continued down the mountain here. Yeah, maybe fighting that mammoth in the distance. Alright, whatever. Let's continue on our search. Oh, hey there. I see a big old booty. That looks like a giga to me. Yep. Level 116 male. Oh, shit. This is gonna be fun. Um, all right, well, I think we want to lead it down the mountain. Maybe to this area right here. It's sort of flat. I think it's big enough to build our trap. That's probably the, the safe move. Instead of fucking around up there. All right, there's one. These are metal gateways, by the way. Let's get the second one in here. Right about there. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get a third one in on this side. See what I'm doing here. Uh, there we go. I think that'll be good. I hope so. I hope this works. All right, now I made a couple of large bear traps. I'm going to put one here and one there. And they will arm themselves. And once we get the Giga stuck in there, we're going to throw in this fourth gateway and trap it inside. Holy shit! Oh, I thought that was the fucking... For a second, I thought it was the Giga. It's this goddamn honey badger. Come here, you fuck. That scared the shit out of me for a second. Oh, it's good he ran up on us now, though. Instead of when we were trying to fucking trap this thing. All right. Are we good? Nothing else around here that wants to attack us? And I hope this works. 
Well, instead of flying up there and biting this thing, I'm gonna try and shoot at it from here. Piss it off. I don't want to get too close to it. From what I understand, it has a huge range. There we go. Alright, you ready for this, Philly? We gotta kinda lead it down and then to the left here. What the hell is it doing? Come on, dude. You get your head out of the mountain. Here we go. This way. What are you doing? Oh, this thing is not cooperating. Holy shit. Now what? We gotta, like, back it up. Um. I guess I'll shoot it. Come on. Is it stuck? I don't know. It seems stuck. But it's not in the trap. I think it's stuck between one of the gateways and that rock. I'm not gonna move though. I'm just gonna stand right here and keep shooting it. The only thing that gets me worried about this though is um, when it gets to the point where it's about to be knocked out. It, it might, uh, you know, try, it's gonna try and run away at that point, and if it breaks free and runs away, that's gonna suck. That's gonna be a whole lot of wasted ammo. But what else can I do? I'm not gonna try and get it unstuck. I'm just gonna keep shooting it. Hope for the best. Oh, we're down to about half the life of this rifle. We've gone through 65 darts so far. I've got 450 Trank Arrows, and I have a backup crossbow and a backup bow. So it looks like the life of this rifle is gonna wear out before we run through all these darts. So when that happens, we'll just switch over to the crossbow and start firing arrows at this thing. I still can't believe it's just stuck there. At least we can pick up our bear traps now, use them again another day. I swear, only on this channel will you witness such fuckery. At least it's paying off in our favor, though. I mean, for now it is. At any moment, I feel like this thing can break free, and that could be the end of us. Ah, there goes the rifle. Crossbow time. Now, you know, I didn't even think about it, but... Philly's saddle doubles as a smithy. So I could have brought the materials that I needed to repair these weapons, and we could have done that in Philly's saddle. But, I think switching over to a new weapon is much faster than trying to repair the shit in Philly's saddle. And, uh, from what I understand, these things have such high torpor that if you stop shooting at it, it will just, like, replenish. And you can be here all day shooting it. So, I'm trying to, uh, just lay fire on this thing as rapidly as I can. Are you fucking kidding me right now, Rhino? You don't have a better place to be? Do not get into my line of fire. Oh my god. Do you believe this shit? If I accidentally shoot this rhino, it's over for us. Alright, I'm gonna switch out the broken rifle with the, this crossbow. Just in the event that uh, this crossbow that we're using now breaks, we can quickly switch over to that other one. I just hope we have enough arrows to knock this thing out. And I also hope, like I said earlier, it doesn't run away once it starts to get uh, really close to being knocked out. Because these things are fast as shit. If it starts running away, there's no way I'm going to be able to catch up to it. I mean, maybe with Philly. But by the time we get on Philly, fly after it and try shooting it again, uh, you know, the Torpor will have gone up and uh, it's just not going to happen. If this thing runs away, we're fucked. Really, with this rhino? It's gonna walk into the bear traps. Unbelievable. Don't do it, idiot! If this rhino runs into the bear trap, is it gonna get pissed off? Holy shit, it just stepped in one. Oh, there goes, uh, that bear trap. I guess we can't pick that one up now. As long as it doesn't piss the rhino off, I mean, it looks pretty mad, but I don't think it's gonna try attacking me just because it stepped in the bear trap, right? 
I hope not. It's trying to get out. It's out. Alright. It doesn't look mad. That's good. There goes that crossbow. Holy shit, we've gone through about 225 arrows so far. This is ridiculous. Oh, there it is! Holy shit, we did it! Unbelievable! It wasn't even in the fucking trap! Wow! That took us about 150 darts and over 250 arrows. Alright, um... We need prime meat. We can get that real easily from a mammoth. Let's try and find one. Um, wait a second. I brought narcotics with me. I don't know how quickly this thing is going to wake up. The bar doesn't seem to be moving much right now, so let's just go try and get some meat real quick. Hey, Mr. Mammoth, I just need to borrow your prime meat. It's for a friend. I'll pay you back, I swear. Alright, let's get uh, some prime meat into his inventory. We didn't get much, but... Better than nothing, and it's a start. And the unconscious meter is starting to go down, so let's also get some narcotics in there and force feed him a little bit. We'll do a little at a time, because I don't have that much. I hope it's enough. Last thing we need is this motherfucker waking up. You know, I really don't think narco berries are going to do anything to keep the Giga unconscious. But, I'm desperate right now, so I'll try anything. We still have some more narcotics left, but I'm just afraid that uh, we're going to run out and his unconscious meter is still going to continue to plummet. So I I'd rather have uh, a good handful of narco berries than nothing. All right, let's just force feed him all these. And we might as well force feed him the rest of the narcotics as well. There it is. That's all she wrote. I think we're going to be good, though. I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and demolish this trap. We'll get some of our metal back from doing this. 85 metal and 25 cementing paste. Not bad. Oh, there it is. Name your Giga. Okay. Uh, Big Papa. That's a good name for this big-ass motherfucker. Holy shit. I can't believe we pulled this off. I really can't. We didn't even... I mean, I guess we did kind of use the trap. He got stuck between the trap and that rock. And we just got really fucking lucky. What up, Big Papa? You ready to go home? All right, well, I'm gonna stick you in this little cryopod first. Let's get some stamina back here real quick. And then we're gonna stop at the forges on the other side of the volcano. I want to grab the metal bars out of the forges and put more metal in there. Get it smelting down. Oh, are you kidding me? You know who you're fucking with. This is my volcano. Matter of fact, this entire island is mine, bitches. Oh, these motherfuckers. They really don't know, do they? There you go. Well, you didn't know. Now you know. But you're also dead, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get our stamina back here. And like I said, we're going to stop off at the forges. And then head home. Alright, let's grab some metal. We also got to grab some wood to get the fires lit. Then we'll go throw all this shit in the forge, grab the metal bars out of the forge, and we'll head home, get a saddle crafted for Big Papa, and then we'll take him for a spin. And when I say take him for a spin, I mean murder everything in sight. Okay, I saw the metal bars out of the forges, got all the metal in there, smelting down, let's get out of here. There we go, oh big papa poop, grab that, stick that in the garden. Alright, let's get some food into them, and then we'll get a uh, saddle crafted. Okay, what do we need for the giga saddle? Fiber, hide, and metal. Here we go. Bam. 
And bam. Hey, Trike. Wanna die? Okay. There you go. Who else wants to die? Everyone else on the beach? That's fine. Three levels. Holy shit, look at all this health. Let's put uh, all three of those into melee damage. And instant death. Oh, man. Oh, look, they want to die, too. Haven't killed a Stegosaurus yet. Let's do that now. Hey, Stegosaurus. You dead. Ooh, the trike just died being around me. Hey, turtle. Oh, I shouldn't have killed the turtle. I feel bad now. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? It's a circle of life. Two more levels, both into melee damage. Yeah, this thing should put up a bit of a fight, right? Oh, yeah, look, I gotta bite it more than once. Dead. Oh, with three levels, I'm gonna go two into melee, and let's put one into stamina. Why not? I notice this thing does run out of stamina pretty quickly. Hey, Brontosaurus, wanna die? Okay. There you go. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's my pleasure. One more level, we're going melee damage again. Okay. Now what? Oh, hey, sheep. All right, I kind of want to go explore the redwoods with this thing, but uh, I know uh, the Thylas can just pull me right off of the saddle, and I also know Big Papa would protect me, but you know what? Today has gone well enough. Let's not risk it by doing anything too stupid. Let's just get Big Papa inside the base and let's get a couple of the Rexes mating. I want to mate them at least one more time like I was saying at the beginning of the video. And then if it's only one baby that'll be seven Rexes plus a Giga plus whoever else we want to take to the fight. Apparently you can only take 20 dinos to the fight. I don't think you're restricted as to what dinos, as long as they're land animals. You can't bring anything that flies. But I don't, I'm not 100% sure about that, in terms of what's restricted and what's not. I'll have to look into that. I know we can take the Rexes, and I'm pretty positive we can take the Giga. I'd certainly like to get... Look at this guy. Are you fucking kidding me here? Get out of here. There you go. Eat him up, Big Papa. It's all you. Um, I kind of would like to try and get a female Giga and mate them. I mean, four Gigas and like seven or eight Rexes, I'm pretty sure the brood mother wouldn't stand a chance. One more level, we're going in melee damage. All right, let's get uh, Sheebs and He-Man to mate. They're standing next to each other. Just makes it easy. Uh, whoops, we gotta go behavior. Enable mating. Same thing for He-Man. Enable mating, and they're mating already. Nice. I know user brother and sister or whatever, but doesn't matter. You're dinosaurs, so you can do whatever. All right. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not going to bother mating the wolves again. Definitely not going to mate the Simons again. Three Simons is more than enough for anyone. Uh, and like I said, we'll see what happens with this egg from Sheebs and He-Man. If it's just one Rex, maybe we'll mate them again. If it's twins or triplets again, then that'll definitely be it. And like I was also saying, I would love to try and get a female Giga and uh, mate them as well. And then I, I would feel very confident going into the Broodmother fight. Hey, what are you doing back here? Are you lost? Yeah, he's lost. Let's help him out. Hey, get back here. You can't run. There we go. Oh, Big Papa, fine, you eat him. All right, they are just about done here. We'll go ahead and get the egg incubating, and that's where we'll end this episode. Here we go. I have four fire pits here. I don't know if four is going to be enough. I think we need at least five. But we'll try with four. See if it works. Get them all fired up. Whoops. Didn't mean to pick up the egg. Let's drop it again. Without setting ourselves on fire. And it's incubating. Alright. I guess four fires is enough. So we'll let this egg incubate. See what hatches out of it. 
And uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to spend the rest of the uh, evening getting our inventory sorted, all the shit we picked up today. And then uh, possibly do a little bit more uh, resource gathering. I think we need just maybe one or two more gateways to completely seal this backyard off here. So I may work on that, and we'll pick things up uh, in the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more ARC, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.